Today, we would be talking about the surgical management of tonsillitis. Myself, Dr. Vivek Shashindran, consultant, ENT, head and neck surgeon. So, the treatment of choice when it comes to chronic tonsillitis is tonsillectomy. It is basically a surgical procedure wherein you remove the entire tonsils. Now, this can be accomplished in a number of ways. Tonsillectomy is one of the most commonly performed surgeries in the pediatric age group. There are indications for tonsillectomy in adults. Now, it could also be a part of some other surgical procedures, for example, as a part of treatment for obstructive sleep apnea, that is patients who snore heavily. So, in general, this surgical procedure is carried out under general anesthesia. So, this procedure can be accomplished in a number of ways. There are different techniques. The conventional good old methods like the blunt dissection technique that is just dissecting out the tonsils from the fossa where it is located. Or you can accomplish this procedure with the help of more advanced, I would say gadgets or devices. For example, lasers were being used for some time. But however, what is more popular right now is coblation. So this is a technology which helps you to carry out or perform tonsillectomy in a relatively bloodless manner with precision. Now, no matter what method or technique you opt for, the ultimate outcomes depend on how neatly or in entirety the tonsils have been removed. So it's important to ensure that remnants are not left behind. Now, the usual operating time is around 30 to 40 minutes. And at the end of the procedure, we ensure that there is no bleeding from the surgical site because the most common complication that is usually associated with tonsillectomy is bleeding. And this bleeding is something that you could encounter during the time of surgery or even after surgery within a time period of 24 hours or it could manifest as a delayed bleeding. So it's important to ensure that adequate hemostasis, that is control of bleeding has been obtained on table before the patient is brought out of the operation theater. And we usually observe the patient for a period of 24 hours, make sure that there is no bleeding and the patient is usually discharged. It can also be carried out as a daycare procedure. Now, few important points that one needs to keep in mind when undergoing tonsillectomy. So generally, after the surgery, the patients are instructed to be on a soft, bland diet. So nothing hard, nothing spicy, no fried food. So this is general instruction that a patient who undergoes tonsillectomy surgery has to follow. For a week, there would usually be pain, which kind of settles down and the patient is actually fit to carry out his day-to-day -day activities even on the second or the third day of surgery. So thank you so much.